So here's a question from Martin. Martin said he had a flyer that came through, a little leaflet that came through the door, and it said, your roof is knackered, it needs a special coating put it on. We'll come along, clear the moss off, spray it with this special coating, which uh, gives a bit of color back on the roof, makes it look a bit nice and new, and uh, it will waterproof your roof and extend the life. And he's going, oh, I'm not sure about this. Seems like a bit of a con. He said, my neighbor's had it done and there's no real difference in it. It hasn't made their roof that much better. And uh, is it worth doing? That's what he's asking. Is it worth doing? Well, I would say generally no. I think, you know, I've, funnily enough, the, the guy living next door to my daughter, George, he had it done and the guys came in, talked him into it, just spent a couple of hours up there, kicked a bit of moss off, sprayed this stuff on, and it looked good for a couple of years, but it didn't really do much. And when people talk about moss on concrete tiles, they oh, that's eating into the tiles. It, you know, okay, to a certain extent. But those tiles are good for 100 years, you know. They're pretty good. I mean, a lot of these Redland and Marley tiles now have actually got a 100-year guarantee on them. So they're not going to be going through this. This property is 50 years old, and he's saying it's concrete tiles. Uh, it's not going to start leaking anytime soon. So I would leave it. The other point he's making is he said that some of the felt, the bitumen felt under the tiles is starting to crack and decay. Now, again, this is a very common problem that you get. And he's saying, should I have the whole roof stripped off and have the felt replaced, you know, a breather membrane put in there, and then new battens put on and have new tiles put back or old tiles put back? Is that a good thing to do? And again, I think it's one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, okay, we look up there and we see a few bits, but just consider a lot of roofs were built without any kind of membrane at all. The, the roof in my house, original 1905, if you like, no felt whatsoever. And there's a lot of buildings still being built on the continent. When I'm driving around the continent, I see buildings being built roofs going on with no felt whatsoever underneath them. They just allow that bit of ventilation in there. They allow the air to dry any moisture out that's in the roof and escape and um, perfectly feasible. The only time that it's gonna be a problem is if you get wind blown rain or snow driving up under the tiles or you get something like a broken tile that slips down, you know, a bit of storm damage. And then that second line of defense, that membrane becomes very necessary. But other than that, it's not doing very much at all. And if you've never experienced that in the past, you've never had that windblown snow coming in under the, the tiles and into the loft, then it's probably not gonna happen anytime soon. After all, they tell us the planet is getting warmer, isn't it?